If you're watching this, chances are you probably have an interest in studying in the Faculty of Arts here at University of Waterloo. This video will walk you through what it means to complete a Bachelor of Arts degree and what types of courses you'll need to complete that degree. The first step to earning a Bachelor of Arts is to choose one of two entry programs, either Honors Arts or Honors Arts and Business. These are the programs you apply to on the Ontario University's Application Centre. 40 courses is the magic number when it comes to your degree. This is how many courses you'll need to take to complete the Bachelor of Arts. You can see here that Honors Arts and Honors Arts and Business are pretty similar. In fact, the major of study is exactly the same for both programs. You'll take 16 courses in the major that you choose. Likewise, co-op is available in both programs regardless of which major you choose. The big difference between the two entry programs is that for the Honors Arts and Business program, you'll take 14 business courses in addition to your chosen major. Now, 14 courses isn't enough to be considered a major, so we wouldn't call this a double major, but it does make up a good chunk of your studies. Those set business courses span different topics so that you'll have a strong business foundation. They were also designed with feedback from the business community. Let's take a closer look at the commonalities between Honors Arts and Honors Arts in Business. Arts First makes up two of the 40 courses in the Bachelor of Arts degree. You'll take one of these courses in the fall of your first year and the other one in the winter term of your first year. They're super small courses capped at around 25 students and they're designed to help you beef up your communication and analysis skills so that you can be successful throughout the rest of your studies. Plus they cover some really interesting topics. We will outline just a few here to give you an idea. Growing up with digital media, the brain in popular culture, how the sausage is made, the politics of hip hop, and lawyering justice. Your major is the subject you want to study most. It makes up 16 of the 40 Bachelor of Arts courses. For Honors Arts and Honors Arts in Business, there are a wide range of majors to choose from. By now, you might have already considered what you want to study for your major. What is great about both of these programs is that regardless of what major you start with, you do have the option to change your mind. So if you find yourself taking a course on a different subject that you hadn't considered before, you can always change your major. Remaining courses are, well, what's left. For Honors Arts, that number is 22, and for Honors Arts and Business, there are eight remaining courses. Here's where it gets a little tricky though. As part of your degree, you'll be required to complete what are called breadth requirements. This is to show that you have a broad knowledge of other subjects in addition to your major. You'll need to complete courses in these areas that we've outlined here, but those courses might also count towards other things like your major. Once all those breadth requirements are met, you might still have a few extra courses and we call those electives. So those can be used towards other subjects other courses that spark your interest. So for the breadth requirements, you need to complete courses in these five areas. Fine Performing and Communication Arts, Humanities, Languages and Cultures, Social Sciences, and Transdisciplinary Studies. And that all brings us back to the magic number, 40. So that's it. That's what's in the Bachelor of Arts degree. You've got your two Arts First courses, your 16 major courses. If you're in Honors Arts and Business, you've got those 14 business courses. And the remainder of your classes uh, make up your breath requirements and any electives that you might choose to take. 